Hi and welcome to Keep Buzz Creative Flow. We are taking part in the Junk Journal January Challenge and it is a challenge hosted by Meg Journals and Get Messy Art Journal. Final prompt, which is clothes. So this is prompt 31 and it's clothes. So oh, this journal, were the basic um, journal was by the Pink Zebra UK. So those people you can find on social media. <sighs> clothes. <laughs> so for clothes, oh, cl not clothes, but for clothes, I was thinking, shall we add some buttons to the front and then attach a brad to the back not a brad sorry an eyelet so i've pulled out um the crocodile so this is by we are memory keepers and you you can basically punch holes and then add the eyelets in different sizes i've got a few which are in different shapes in different shapes as well i just have to give a shout out to this candle <laughs> look at this it's literally lasted the whole of junk journal january and it's on its last tiny weeny bit so let's see if it lasts this video um so i've pulled out some buttons i've got some polyester cord spun polyester and it's like a thicker thread um very vintage i like the way it's um, more curled up you know the yeah whatever that's called what it's on yeah, it's amazing so going back to this ugh, i'm really like not sure what to do so this is some of the other bits i pulled off this top which we used in a different prompt so this mm, let me get rid of that this is from the sleeve so another option was so because it's got the button on one side maybe we could so attach We'd have to stitch on the button to the thing, but then because we've got two, so I could add the other button there. Yeah, so the other button goes there. Oh no, I suppose we could do it like that. So basically, the buttons go on top of each other. Let me, I don't know, I don't even know if that's going to work. So, what I've done, I've cut that one off. Let's cut this one off and then see where we're going because I have no idea what's going on. So, I'm just going to cut. Oh, let's not cut the uh. We need this bit <laughs> so i'm just going to cut here on this sleeve oh, just getting the scissors what you guys are doing all right enjoying whatever you're up to today tonight or maybe it's morning for you so um to do what to do so if we do a let, uh, let you know what let's because i'm not going to need this whole sleeve am i i'm just going to cut around this button but leaving enough room so i can actually stitch or secure it down onto the journal if i need to if not we're going to go with that first option of um this is the craziest thing i've ever done i haven't actually ever done this so i'm just thinking that might work and it's quite uh we'll see we'll see how it goes let's see if this works first i'm just going to cut a square around this whose crazy idea was this <laughs> right oh that one's a lot smaller mm. <laughs> don't know what i'm doing it's quite stretchy fabric as well so i'm sure we'll have some give in it it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to get stitched down anyway she says and then she tries to straighten all the edges get right get rid of <laughs> okay so first let's see i was thinking maybe we could attach attach this here oops and then, because this can go underneath this, you see. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, because then my idea was that 
so the other button let's just put it on so the other button is here if that makes sense you know it's gonna still twist isn't it okay let's do one the other way and then one the other way Eek. I'm just gonna pop that in so see right so It's gonna do it, yeah. So <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm nuts, right? Okay, so this attaches here. Let's get a clamp. Let's pretend this is attaching here. behind this yep so then we've got this to work with oh see this is the thing about it being twisted now I do prefer this side I won't be able to get that side though oh yes I'm such a where is my head today Just turn the thing over. So you're just twisting it around. And this attaches onto there. The only thing with this is then that is all it will do. So if people wanted to expand it, it won't expand. Get what I mean? Like if people wanted to add more into it. First of all, let's twist this because it only works when you twist it. Um, that's great. I don't know what I'm doing with that. So <laughs> I'm going to go with option two. So first of all, shall we? So this is quite a thick piece here. Maybe I should trim it a little. So this is the front of the top so I think job one I'll definitely add let's just add an eyelet there yeah can't I don't know I'm sure there would be a way to do this but unless I attach hmm, I was thinking unless I attach the actual button at the front so like stitch that on stitch that onto there and then do a button like add another button here and sorry and one button here so it's loose but then another button back so that when the so it's tight so that two buttons there, that's still decorative at the front. Will that work better? Oops. And then I could maybe add more than one eyelet to make sure that's secure on each corner. I might go with that option because this is quite thick to use. It would work, but because I've never done it as well, I'm a bit. Uh, so what colours? 
go for these metallics. The copper will quite go nicely with this, but then so will the um, gun metal. With the flowers as well. The coppers will make it the copper will make it pop. Let's go copper, shall we? So I've got three on my hand. No idea if this is gonna work. I hope you've crushed your fingers. <laughs> what am I thinking? Okay, first of all I'm hoping these are all the same colour now. Yeah, should be fine. I'm going to grab this. Let's move this out of the way. And this has got okay. You need the small side, okay. And then let's get this ready actually for the small side as well. I think that's the one. Right, um, yeah, small eyelet. Okay, you can do it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking, should I do one at a time? Let's do one at a time because there's fabric involved as well I hope that's enough um, grab on the fabric as well actually we'll find out soon enough I'm sure okay one Oops. there goes the calendar I'm just going to cut that a bit because it's, it's stretchy material as well so I'm hoping it's enough to keep it in position if not we could always stitch around after okay if you notice I'm not checking the back I'll check after it's fine <laughs> okay this is going to go through Oh god. Yeah, this is gonna go through another thick card behind. I'm just gonna cut that circle bit. Oh goodness. Okay. Come on. Squeeze. That's a funny squeeze. Yeah. Okay, final one. Thank you, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I keep thinking I'm going through like more than multiple pages basically, but I know it's a thick um, embossed card which is behind this. Ready to look. Oh yes, it's fine. Except for this one, that's gone really weird, hasn't it? Surely it will still stay in place. It's got a bit of a give. Would it be really in? Would it be excess of too much excess if I added an eyelet here as well? I think it would, wouldn't it? Unless I sneak in a staple underneath. No, you'll be fine. It's just. Oh, sorry. Just cut a bit of this um, fabric there. <laughs> Could do with smaller scissors, really. 
that's okay. So, just thinking. So we could put one here. Grab a pencil. Or a pen. Go on for the pen. Oh. Might help if it works. <laughs> so if you do one which is oh. pen's not working. Goodness me. Yeah, if we do one on the tight section and then I say we do a couple. So there's options of it to really get big if needed. If not, this will just be decorative anyway at the back. So the next question is Actually, should we just do it in this tin? Let's do it in the tin. <laughs> we got them everywhere as well. Right, um. Be flat, and they've got to go through our little hole here. Oops, it is. Oh, it's got a pretty like um flower around it. <laughs> Wonder what you guys, what are you guys going to be doing after this um, challenge finishes as well? I know there's been quite a few people who've been um doing this online it's been so lovely to see yep you're a yes you've got the audition let's just one more that's too big looks like Oh, we've got a little pink star. <laughs> got a bit of glitter in it. Nope, you don't fit, sorry. Oh, you're just tight. Oh, flat white one might be perfect. Oh, we'll do a clear. bit small that other white one is there. Uh, find another one to match these ones. Could go black I suppose. Oh that looks a bit big. Yeah. Is it the same one? <laughs> Might be. Nah, we'll just go with. No, oh gosh. Okay. You've surely got a fit. Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was hard work. So now I've got a make sure that the string actually fits through these holes we'll soon find out i'm just gonna cut off I've already threaded the needle Oops, sorry about the noise um just gonna make a loop does it miss the outside yeah, it kind of does. Right, okay. Well, let's do our uh, buttons here. Oh, we need to go past this section. Or oh, shall we do the one on the inside edge first? 
Actually, let's do... No, it doesn't matter, really. I'm just thinking of the colour combo now. Mm, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh no, how am I going to... Right. Going in. This is going to be the most awkwardest thing because this is only a tuck behind here. If we just do one, like, um... Oh god, it's in the wrong place. I reckon if I just do like, not like do loads of knots on it, just do like the bare minimum kind of thing, that should be fine. <laughs> this is absolutely mad. Oh, I'm fi I found the hole. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna, when I pull it out now, I'm gonna go to this next dot that we created. Okay. Sorry, this is so frustrating probably to watch. I do apologise. I'm wondering if I should do a double one here. No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> and then going in with this one. Such a cute colour. It's like almost a... Not quite a purple, but very pretty. Actually, where are you? If we do you like this, yeah. in the right place oh, yep yeah. wow this is very orcs but we got there and I'm just going to tie the knot behind here be like where what can't see nothing okay <laughs> feeding the needle through and i'm gonna do a double one so it makes sure that that doesn't go anywhere because it all connected and then we'll just put so you could leave a bit of a longer bit and just leave it tucked behind. Nobody will see that. And then that's oh, it actually covers the whole three of them. So, so this is the front. I'm doing shall I stitch? Actually, let's cut off this curly bit. Yeah, and then I'm in two lines of stitching here. It'll be okay. So just because it pulls a little. Mm. So how does it close? <laughs> so at the moment it can close on this one. Like this. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this. But then if you wanted to make it a bit bigger. Oh gosh. If you go in the middle one. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> and then if you wanted it to add loads of different things in it. Okay, this is quite a flat button. Oh, yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. 
and you want it to really like be puffed out like this you can totally do that as well um oh my god i can't believe we've just done that this is the first time i'm doing a closure by the way so yeah i'm gonna leave it on the slightly tighter snug one which still stands actually so yeah and we'll do a full flip through um soon <laughs> oh my goodness i'm sorry if that was really frustrating for you but um we got there in the end i'm still in two minds of actually doing two stitches here possibly Thinking, shall I just do it? Just thinking of the integrity of these as well, you know, because of the paper. Hmm. That looks like it's loose. I might have to glue this. I might have to glue them in place as well. Unless I could have done a different, like, yeah. Um, what am I saying? Yeah, like a different um, closure. So, like, maybe add some more paper to strengthen the back of this first. But we can still work with it. What I might do is actually grab some circles and then glue them round this, like behind it, to strengthen that. Yeah, I think that will work. Put this on the middle one. <laughs> okay, maybe we won't put it on. Because it's... um. They're quite tight on the, the to the paper. They're quite flat. Well, anyway, that was my clothes. <laughs> Sorry about the waffling. Because um, I'm trying to problem solve at the same time as well. Because it's the first time I've ever done that. Um, hopefully it will be better next time. Um, take care for now. See you soon. Bye.